the news at six. First, the highlights. Legacy Governor restates commitment to boost food security. Empowers farmers with modern tools. House of Representatives demands immediate reversal of fuel, cooking gas price hike. On the quarantine, more aid lorries enter Gaza after United States threats to cut Israeli military support. And in Sports England names Thomas Tucho as Thomas Tucho, pardon, as new manager ahead 2026 World Cup. And now the details, I am Akan Usen. State Governor Babajide Songwulu has attributed his administration's massive investment in agriculture and food systems as a recognition of the importance of food for security and a better society. Governor Songwulu stated this at the celebration of this year's World Food Day with the theme Rights to Food for a Better Life and a Better Future Leave No One Behind. The governor said efforts are ongoing to add to the existing food systems in the state to boost food security while helping farmers with modern mechanization services and technology for improved yields. It speaks directly to the challenges of ongoing food security which we have worldwide. Food is indeed a right. Food for a better life and for a better future cannot be better imagined. Food is not only an, is not just an essential for survival, but it's also the cornerstone for a prosperous and a stable nation. On his part, Special Advisor to the Governor on Agriculture and Food Systems, Oluwarotimi Fashola, said the state government will continue to train farmers to ensure sectoral growth. We are resolute in our mission to ensure that all citizens have the access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food, which is essential for the active and healthy lives. The leading cause of uh, deficiency of global is poor nutrition, particularly in inadequate supply of fruits, vegetables and necessary vitamins and minerals. This is why the ministry and its agencies have set a, a goal to train and retrain both existing and aspiring farmers to ensure sustained sectoral growth and increased contribution to the state's GDP. Farmers and producers at the event displayed their farm produce, livestock and products at the event held at the police college ground, Ikeja. <music> Five thousand five hundred and twelve youths slash women have graduated from the nineteen skilled acquisition centers of the Lake State government for the year twenty twenty three. Speaking at the event held in Ikeja, Governor Babajide Songwulu urged the graduates not to leave above their means but show resilience, keep their vision alive, avoid distractions, be focused professional, grow their skills, and contribute to the growth of the state. Nassau Wulu said his administration is committed to creating an environment where everyone will have opportunities to thrive. Training or development is never ending. What do I say? It never ending. So continue to up your skill. Continue to train yourself. You finish this one now, in another one year, you have another one, you want to go and up your skill again. Maybe there are things that you now don't understand by then, go and look for a place where you can get additional skill so that you can remain professional on that your line that you have chosen for yourself. When they say collaborate with good people, form alliance, people that can take you up, that can do what? That can take you up. Collaborate. Commissioner for Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Bola Jidada, who commended Governor Song Wolu for various initiatives, said the ministry in the last five years had produced 23,604 graduates from the various acquisition centers across the state. 
Dada urged the new graduates to embrace the opportunity with courage, let it impact positively in their lives and families, as well as communities. And today's graduation ceremony is a true testament of your commitment to building a brighter future for all and a greater Lagos as indeed risen. Thank you, Mr. Governor, for being an inspiration to us all. You have been exceptionally supportive, consistently demonstrating your commitment to empowering various segments through various initiatives and programs. Our correspondent at uh, Kindley reports that the graduates who were empowered with various equipment, including tools for printing, laptops, gas cookers, dryers, sewing machines, will also benefit from free Illyrico Health Scheme of the state government. The Lagos State Safety Commission has harped on the need for school students to prioritize safety and security while in the cyberspace. Director General of the Lagos Safety Commission, Lan Ray Modula, gave the advice at a one-day seminar for schools across the state tagged Building a Strong Cyber Safety Awareness held in Ikeja. Modula stated that the internet offers boundless opportunities to learn, connect and grow, just as he emphasized that it also comes with risks for young people in particular, who are increasingly vulnerable to the dangers lurking online. He said the event, which was organized in partnership with the Safe School Lagos, epitomized the proactive approach which must be adopted to ensure schools remain safe in both physical and digital realms by cultivating a robust foundation of cyber security awareness. In our remarks, lead resource person at Safe Schools Lagos, BC Esurosho, said such seminars are timely as they will undoubtedly prepare schools across Lagos to effectively tackle cyber threats, thereby fostering a safer digital environment for everyone involved. As the redevelopment of the Tolu Schools complex continues, the Lagos State Special Committee on Rehabilitation of Public Schools scripts in partnership with the Lagos State Safety Commission has trained school principals and head teachers on safety measures at construction sites. Commissioner for Basic and Secondary Education, Jamu Ali Balogun, said the journey of the redevelopment of the Tolu Schools Complex started last year with the approval of Governor Babajide Somulu. Expressing satisfaction with the progress, Ali Balogun stressed that the essence of the safety training is to avert casualties among the students while construction work is ongoing at the various schools within the complex. The commissioner charged the school principals and head teachers to imbibe the safety measures being taught at the workshop and extend saying to the students who are more prone to injuries. In the same vein, Chairman of the Special Committee on Rehabilitation of Public Schools, Hakim Smith, appealed to the principals and head teachers to uphold the different safety measures ruled out to them by the facilitators, saying this will also assist the contractors in the delivery of the projects in ample time. Smith noted that the principals and head teachers will be adopted by the Lagos State Government as Scripps Safety Ambassadors, while safety kits like helmets, vests and boots will be handed over to them. And now to the rest of the stories. The House of Representatives has called for immediate reversal of the price increase in petrol and cooking gas. The lawmakers expressed fear that the hike is causing hardship for Nigerians and threatening job security. The Green Chamber also asked the Niger National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL, and the Ministry of Petroleum Resources to increase local refining capacity while also calling on the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to implement monetary policies that will mitigate the adverse effects of fuel price hike on inflation. The motion was moved at plenary by the Deputy Minority Leader, Aliu Madaki, and sponsored by 111 members of the House. Vice President Kashim Shaitima has departed Abuja for Sweden on a two-day visit to represent Nigeria in bilateral engagements with the Scandinavian nation. 
Senior Special Assistant to the Vice President on Media and Communication, Stanley Kocha, explained that the visit is at the instance of President Bola Tinubu. During the working visit, the Vice President will engage in high-level bilateral talks with key government officials, including a meeting with Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden and the Swedish Prime Minister. Shaitima is also expected to articulate the country's economic vision the reforms have been undertaken by the administration to create a business-friendly environment in Nigeria for investors and to showcase the opportunities that abound in Africa's largest economy. The vice president is expected back in the country on Saturday. And now to foreign news. More lorries carrying aid have reached northern Gaza for the third day running after a period of two weeks without aid deliveries. The Israeli military says 50 trucks have entered today after the United States threatened to take away some military support unless Israel boosted aid within 30 days. Israel's ambassador to the United Nations, Danny Dannon, says his country remains committed to working with international partners to ensure aid reaches Gaza following concerns from other countries that the humanitarian situation there is deteriorating. Danon notes there is no shortage of aid considering the m amount of aid that has been delivered into Gaza. According to him, the problem is with the logistics to make sure it goes to the people who need it and not into the hands of Hamas. <laughs> In our sports, German football manager Thomas Tuchel has been named as England's new manager after agreeing a deal with a football association. Reports say the 51-year-old was named as a permanent successor to Gareth Southgate. He will officially take charge on January 1, 2025 after signing an 18-month contract. <laughs> Legacy Governor Babajide Sonwulu has praised the election of Eniton, Eniton Ushuri as the sixth president of the African Table Tennis Federation ATTF in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Oshodi, a former commissioner for youth, sports and social development, was unanimously elected at the elective annual general meeting of the continental body held at the African Union headquarters. Governor Sonwulu said the state is proud of a true Lagosian who has continued to put Nigeria and Lagos on the world map through his sheer ingenuity in sports. The governor also pledged the state support to Oshodi and called on other Nigerians to support the compatriot who has continued to make the country proud with his international acceptance. Eniton Oshodi is the second Nigerian to lead the continental sports body after Shekou George, who served from 1988 to 1996. <laughs> Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwulu has mourned the passing of the Plus TV cameraman attached to his office, Mr. Samson Obafisoye. The governor described the death of Obafisoye as a great loss not only to the deceased family but to the broadcast industry. Governor Sonwulu, in a statement issued by his special advisor on media and publicity, Boiga Akoshili, described the late Obafisoye as a thoroughbred professional who discharged his duties diligently and contributed his quota to the broadcast media industry in Nigeria. The governor also commiserated with the deceased family, friends and colleagues, especially the management and staff of the PLOS TV, as well as the Lagos State Governor's Office Correspondent, Lagoko, over the death of the cameraman. <laughs> And that's all for the news at 6. Always carry out proper and adequate checks on your vehicles before setting out. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms on X at Traffic Radio 961, Facebook Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram Lagos Traffic Radio 961, on YouTube, subscribe and watch us live on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website on www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Songwulu administration supplied 86,000 dual furniture sets to 775 public schools? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government's website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. 
Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu has attributed his administration's massive investment in agriculture and food systems as a recognition of the importance of food for security and a better society. House of Representatives has called for immediate reversal of the price increase in petrol and cooking gas. We also told you that more lorries carrying aid have reached northern Gaza for the third day running after a period of two weeks without aid deliveries. And in sports, German football manager Thomas Tuchel has been named as England's new manager after agreeing a deal with the Football Association. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info at Traffic Radio 961.ng. And that ends the news broadcast compiled by Adiwali Uluborku. I am Akan Usen. Thanks for listening and please.